So this model is actually my face, just without the glasses. With this model, I wanted to test the folding technique to its limits. You see, the face, the human face, is a fairly complicated object, and I wanted to see if the folding technique would work in such a complicated thing. So from there on, I shared my models with my friends, and one friend that actually wanted to work with me, which is Omar, and we, th we thought we wanted to make something that tastes our technique in a larger scale. And he suggested that we do David. So we decided to do something from the Greek mythology. Uh, and the reason why we chose the Greek mythology because they were very famous in their art pieces and they were very skilled in carving marble and stones. And they had their own tools. So we wanted to bring our own tools and do the same pieces they had. Uh, so we decided to do David by Michelangelo and we decided to make it a 1.2 scale, 2,100 pieces of triangles. So we made it a waffle structure using 5 milli cardboard and a wooden structure on the base of it and it has a wooden piece which was almost uh, 2 meters high uh, going through the, uh, the model and keeping it in place. doing a workshop here called Folding David and the workshop is executed by third year and fourth year students. So uh, it's a two-day workshop concentrating on the folding techniques and how uh, it can be used in you know in an architectural way so we made experimentations on some forms and we worked through some softwares and we tried to calculate how we can use triangles and mesh uh, you know in terms of generation of the forms during our studies. And during these two days, um, our students from fourth year made tutorials uh, and presentations to the other students. And at the end, uh, we came up with new designs uh, in the second day. And uh, today, uh, the students actually laser cut their own topography. And um, we are very happy actually to work all together here, especially I am very happy that I had the chance to work with my students in the same workshop. Uh, I made uh, historical research about his background and explained to students uh, a little more about why we chose him and uh, how there are like more than one David. I explained also the reasons we chose uh, is sometimes uh, students have problems modeling uh, their uh, projects and it doesn't turn out uh, very clear to the jury. So the problem is actually modeling. And the most uh, powerful way, I think, to do curves is using triangles. myself and they helped me so much. We used Rhino, we, I learned how to use the software and Pepecura. So it was so impressive to do such things. This abstract and curvy forms uh, just are creating obstacles uh, in front of us. And this tutorial helped, helped us a lot about this. When I heard 
going to make some kind of uh, workshop to uh, teach us the students to to learn the uh, the way uh, the way or the techniques to turn those complex shapes or, or those uh, computational designs from not only uh, uh, a digital uh, a digital version uh, but turning them into a real models that we can experience and into uh, real life that was so exciting and useful. Uh, I learned uh, new techniques to make uh, like complex forms, uh, especially like in my department, interior architecture. I really uh, need these kind of uh, techniques and complex form to make it in real life. Um, I believe that digital fabrication will play a very important role uh, in the future. Uh, this, is, this is my first workshop. I really regret that I haven't used these kind of techniques um, during my architectural life. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, we learned about Rhino designing folding techniques. Uh, I believe that learning is so important. We're going to use it in the third and the fourth uh, stage of architecture. Now after we, make da we made David, we are thinking about some uh, few other projects. First, we are trying Nitinol, which is a material that has a memory effect. To use it to have a flat model that folds itself. And also we are working on a folding machine because the main problem with our technique is that it requires manual work. You cannot do this with a machine. You can't mass produce it. So we started with a very simple prototype and we are working on it, developing it.